Oh, I'm here again. Welcome everyone. Gonna do some canning today. Gonna do some mango jam. I was supposed to get to it the other day, but never did. So uh, we've just gathered up even more mangoes and we're gonna do some more today. We're gonna do probably about three or four batches of it today. I'm gonna have lots and lots of mango jam, which is great. I love mango jam and so do a lot of my friends. So this will be good. Now to start mango jam off, you have to boil the mangoes, uh, get them all nice and soft. Then you gotta peel them up, take the pits out, and blend up all the fruit that's inside of them. Um, that's one pot full right there. And then I got, as you see, box and boxes of fruit, but this box specifically is all mangoes. So yeah, it'll be about three big boiling pots. And once we get them all boiled up, we'll uh, start putting them through the processor or the blender, either or, after we chop them all up and get them scooped out. Get all the good stuff, the hard labor done. Can't wait. This is uh, what it looks like. We've already uh, peeled and cut down some of the mangoes. Took out all the cores and stuff like that. It's pretty hard, that's gross, that's all garbage. This is all the stuff that we'll uh, be making into jam. There's the last batch of uh, mangoes that we'll, we'll be uh, cooking up. All the rest are right in here. I just wanted to show you this sloppy first step here. Uh, can't wait till we turn all that into some nice sweet tasting goodness. After we boiled the, all the mangoes, I still got some on the last little bit on the stove over there. But this is the next step here. Took out all the cores. The mangoes after we peeled them. Peeled them, take out the cores. And all of the rest goes into the blender. That there is almost almost uh, a good batch of it as soon as we uh, get some more cored up and uh, peeled that's what they look like here they're pretty soft wrinkly just perfect get that filled up to about five cups and that'll be a good uh, a good start and that'll be batch number one can't wait turn that into some yummy goodness some sweet tasting mango jam not a fan of mangoes but this jam actually tastes very good on with peanut butter toast so I uh, really really like it I like it a lot more than some of my other traditional jams such as strawberry and raspberry it's really good stuff right, we are finally done pitting and peeling all the mangoes and got all the mess out of the way and believe me it is quite a bit of mess now the next step because we got four uh, basically the equivalent to four whole batches or actually four double batches so eight batches of mango jam I consider a double batch a whole batch but that's just me um, that's all that right there it's gonna take basically 12 cups of sugar we're gonna have to pour 12 cups of sugar six cup, cups of water into the pot get it boiling and very slowly and then a little bit warmer as we go along until you get nice uh, a nice thread a nice almost like a syrup once you get that syrup then we'll add all of this and start stirring it all together and it'll end up looking like a toffee candy for a bit which freaked me out the very first time I did it but we'll get that going and we'll uh, stir it all together we'll put it in jars and that'll be our mango jam done and then we'll go ahead and process it but uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves I'll take you through that process as we go along I just wanted to show you that we are done I'm sorry about the shadow. I'm getting it's getting later tonight, and uh, 
Got poor lighting in my kitchen. I never liked it, but yeah, so here's all the mangoes all uh, blended up, ready to go. Um, and uh, we'll show you the next step next. All right, we're at the next stage. Got all uh, our mangoes mixed up, as I showed you before. Got all my workstation all set up. Had to uh, wash and sterilize some bigger jars because we got a lot of mango jam coming. And for this step, we have to add uh, sugar and water. That's where we got to let it boil and uh, That's got to turn into more of a syrup than a water. That's uh, It hasn't started boiling yet, obviously. As soon as it does, i got to increase the heat as it goes along. Make sure I'm getting a good thread, almost like a, like I said, a syrup. When it does, I'll add uh, five cups of uh, this mango jam to it, or these uh, blended up mangoes to it. And mix it all together for basically a minute or so, and then uh, I'll be dumping it into jars. And then uh, from there, it'll go into the processing. Just wanted to point out to do this recipe, it takes uh, four pounds of ripe mangoes, three cups of sugar, um, a cup and a half of water. Very fairly simple anyways Got the sugar and water mixture boiling up. Getting some, uh, it's getting there. It's not quite where I need to be, but soon. Just wanted to get a good shot of this, show you all. As soon as we get uh, this done, where it need, has a nice soft, fine thread, we'll uh, be able to add the uh, mangoes. And then we'll have jam. Now that uh, we got it all mixed together, we let her boil up, stirring uh, every now and then for about five minutes till this thickens up, and then we could add it to the jars. I'll, uh, as soon as I'm done adding it to the jars and processing it, I'll show you a finished product. Oh, well, there we have it. There's some finished product. Looks nice and tasty, but still very hot right now. It just came out of the processor. Only three more batches to go, but one batch gives you about five jars, so five and a half jars because I got a half jar back there, and this is a full liter jar. So, not bad. Not bad. We'll have a a bunch more jars by the time the night's over but I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something and thanks for watching